Hey guys, even here and in today's video, we're gonna talk about this guy right here, Vitaly Oglinikov, aka Good Vito, the future star of open bodybuilding. Of course, the photo that you're looking at is from the 2024 Arnold Classic Brazil, where he actually brought surprisingly good package. People were kind of divided. Some people thought he was gonna disappoint that he's an Instagram bodybuilder, that he never brought conditioning before and he won't do it at this show. Some people believed that he might do really well and in the end he actually showed up and looked really freaking good. Could he look better? Sure. But was this a good package? It absolutely was. He ended up in a two-man callout against Rafael Brandau, who just placed third at a very, very competitive Arnold Classic. Rafael was already 10th at a Mr. Olympia, and with his new improvements, he might jump a couple of places. And if Guduito actually looked this good compared to Rafael, how far can he truly reach? Well, as far as this front double bicep, I think he potentially beat Rafael in this one. I mean, his legs, Good Vito's legs are really freaking good. They are very wide, wider than Rafael's. They have more details than Rafael. They have great detail. He has a teardrop, he has a great lateral head, and he has cross striations. And also the doctors are there as well. So his legs are phenomenal. Probably his strongest body part. And they also create a really good x taper illusion because his waist is super super tiny especially when he hits the vacuum like this i mean compare the size of his waist to his legs it's basically pretty much the same so that's pretty crazy right and also like the way his lats are popping and the way his biceps are popping the way his triceps are hanging this is a very very good front double bicep unfortunately not all the poses are this good but hey, do not forget, this is his first pro show ever. This is Vitaly's pro debut. He can definitely improve this front lat spread just with different posing. Also the side shots, I think those could have looked better if he hit them a little bit differently. If his posing here was perfected, I would say he would be not only 20-30% better, but like 50% better. I think posing really cost him a lot, but was it bad? Did he not act like a professional at this stage? He absolutely did. He did an absolutely great job, but you can still see that some poses could be tweaked and could look better. Now, in many cases, let's say most cases with the new pros, the issue is very often back. Back is something that comes last. And in Good Vito's case, you can see that the thickness of the bag is something that needs to be improved, that can be improved. But as far as the shape, as far as the completeness, the way it's flowing, the taper, the way the lats are inserted and stuff like that, it's actually a pretty good bag. It's a pretty promising bag. And the other thing that was really a big question was his conditioning from the back and as you can see he brought it, man, he really brought it. He was freaking shredded. I mean, I don't know why he was hiding his glutes so much. Maybe he had some bruises from the injections, I'm not sure. But from what we can see, the part that is visible is completely shredded, way more shredded than Rafael's. Hamstrings as well, ripped to shreds. And legs just bigger, better, more developed, more sweepy, more freaky, smaller waist, even I would say, yeah, in the back double bicep, wider shoulders, more details, more dryness in the back. So he looked phenomenal in this shot as well, which was a big question mark. Overall, this guy definitely brought an amazing package, but I gotta say, the expectations from this guy were always pretty high because in his instagram photos he always looked like he's gonna become the next big thing it always seemed like that some people were skeptical because in some cases it is all just hype all instagram but in other cases it actually turned out to be true or even better than what we expect and now that good Vito proved that he is legit that he actually can stand next to the top pros and look really good and really push them it just tells us that this guy has a lot of potential and at a very young age of like, I'm not sure exactly, but like 26, 27 maybe, I think he can do really good in the future 
as for right now, he kinda reminds me a lot of our current Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford. But from three years ago, when Derek was competing in the 212. Now, I have no idea what Goodwito's weight is right now. I think it's uh, well above 212 pounds. I think something like 230, around 230 is reasonable. I have no idea, honestly. But as far as the physique similarities, there are quite a few. Like, especially the outline, the we taper, the shape, the silhouette of the physique. We know that Derek looked much better from behind, like his back is crazy developed, and you can still see it in the front, I mean, his lats are popping out like crazy, that's why his front double is also a very good shot for him, but like Goodwito, I mean, his lats are also pretty good, his waist is also pretty narrow, it seems like Derek's is a little bit more narrow, but I think it got wider now that he's over 212 pounds, but here it was extremely small, and I would say Goodwito has much better legs, much better quads. Derek's quads are basically his weakness. I think both of these guys are similar in height, similar in structure. So is there a possibility for Goodwito to win Mr. Olympia someday, like Derek just did last year? But I mean, if Goodwito really wants it, he needs to keep growing. He needs to really want it and be able and be willing to push things further, like Derek did, because Derek basically doubled in size from his 212 days, he definitely came in much bigger to the open, especially last year, he made even more improvements from the 2022, so he's definitely growing very rapidly, and if Goodwito has the desire to be the best in the world, or one of the best in the world, he needs to be willing to go to the extremes, like Derek is doing. Now, in the past two years, since Goodwito got his pro card, he definitely did make solid progress. It's not very easy to pinpoint at which areas exactly did he make the most amount of gains, but you can see that he doesn't, he actually looks bigger now overall, and his conditioning is completely different, completely and totally different. Uh, look at the glutes, look at the lower back, I mean, look at everything, really. You can't even compare these two editions, the older one looks like he was guest posing, but really he was competing and he did win this show and win his pro card and he won it because of his mass, it was definitely not because of conditioning, his conditioning was horrible and now he improved it to the point where you can say his conditioning was actually really good. And with this new conditioning, and I think with the same measurements, I think his body compared to his head looks just the same, if not even bigger. It just creates an illusion of a much, much improved physique. Whether he's gonna qualify for the 2024 Mr. Olympia, it really depends on what he looks like compared to Martin Fitzwater at the Detroit Pro. I think it's gonna be a really close battle. We'll see, it's gonna be interesting, but Goodwit already proved that he is conditioned. He just needs to maintain this conditioning and he's gonna be ready, like, he's gonna be really good. If he can tweak these poses a little, he's gonna give Martin a run for his money. It's not gonna be easy for Martin to win that show, so it's gonna be a really good battle. I'm sure it's gonna be very, very close. And as far as good veto at the Mr. Olympia this year, I don't really see him cracking the top 10. In the top 10 this year, it's gonna be extremely competitive. If it was 2023 Mr. Olympia, I could see him beating Charles Griffin, Regan Grimes was 9th, I don't know about Regan, I don't think he can beat Regan, we already saw that he can't beat Tony O'Burton this year, but also this year we're gonna have an addition of Big Remy, and also Nick Walker, plus Rafael Brandau, so cracking the top 10 this year, it's basically an impossible task for Goodwito, and as far as his potential in the future, well, being shorter, is definitely not a limiting factor. You can see that today we have former 212 bodybuilders dominating in the open. But those guys are far from the 212 mark, they are definitely much, much bigger. What I'm saying is that the height is not really a limiting factor. As long as he keeps improving, keeps growing, and yeah, he does have some serious growing in the offseason to do. If he progresses that way, if he gets bigger and better, it is absolutely possible to see this guy in the top 6 in a couple of years, maybe even next year if he really pushes things super hard in the next off season. but in a few more years, I think this guy can crack the top 3, because 
I don't really see any glaring weaknesses, and what he has, everything is just super impressive. Arms, legs, back is really good, really wide. Like, he's not really lacking anything. Find the muscle that this guy doesn't have. You can't find it. He has it all, basically. It's just gonna take some time for him to grow, to progress. But the potential is there. It's written all over him. And now that we saw that he can handle the actual pro bodybuilders, I mean, you guys tell me. What do you think? How far can he go? If you ask me, he can go all the way to the top. That's the way I see it. If you disagree with me, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.